previously. Uh, I need you to be my wife. Uh, uh, wait, no, whoa. I totally forgot you said this before. What the hell? Serious deja vu. My first day in Tokyo, sent in public marriage proposal. Right in a bar. I did not expect this to be my first day. <laughs> what better way to propose than in a bar? It's the most romantic. <laughs> I know, it's so romantic. Everyone is drunk off their ass and they I can smell, smell the beer lingering in the air and the scent of lemon hinted with it. <laughs> it's so romantic. <laughs> Of course, you know, this isn't real, you know, because this is a whole fake, this is all pretend. This is like a reality show, and then you're, you're gonna be my wife, so that's how it works. Dolly, listen, you know, it's like when you were a kid, and you played house, and you know, you got so up being a mom and a dad, it's kind of like this, you know. Well, I'm pretty sure I knew who I was going to marry, and I actually loved them. But, yeah, wait, pretend? This isn't some kind of romantic TV show, you know. I'm close. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm close. He's French. You think you would really marry me? Why would I marry someone I've never met, you know? Oh, wow. Uh, finally, we agree on something. I'm actually hoping I didn't have to marry you at first. <laughs> Man, I don't want to marry anybody I'm not in love with, you know? I I'm pretty sure you feel the same way about that. Oh, absolutely not. Of course I am. I wanted to yell that at him, but as usual, I was speechless from all these because I'm the stupid main protagonist who can't speak up all the time. <laughs> oh my god. Basically, this is a mad world and you gotta shut the fuck up. So, yeah, you, I take that as a yes that you want to get married to me. Uh... <laughs> now our fake marriage is gonna be established. Yay. <laughs> 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 widened as he looked at me. As widened. He didn't expect me to say no. I thought it was widened, not widened. But widened, widened, widened. Widened. I don't know. Widened. Window. <laughs> window. <laughs> Windy. <laughs> Windex. <laughs> Windex. <laughs> we need some Windex for your windows, uncle. I cleaned them at some point in time. And when's at some point in time? Every three months? No, every four months. Tally cheese. It's even worse! <laughs> what don't you like about it? God! I don't know, an arranged marriage which I get no say to. Let me know if it, bo it bothers you because apparently it looks like it does. What tipped you off? There are too many things to name, obviously. I can't just marry someone I met. I met? <laughs> <laughs> the typos are real. <laughs> I can't just marry someone I met for the first time today. You even said so yourself. You wouldn't marry someone you I said like it's a fake, fake marriage. What part of it didn't you understand? In other words, a role play couple. Gross. Well then, I guess I have to have a reason to keep these lemons. Oh wait, who is him now? Cow. Oh, I'm, I'm Taco. Yay. Taco. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna call you Taco Bell. Taco Bell cut into our conversation. <laughs> 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 what is a role play couple? <laughs> oh, and you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Tamura san! What does Yaoi mean? Oh my god, I forgot! <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to be legally married. He sounds so serious! <laughs> not if I can say about it. In marriage, <laughs> you can always object. So I object. <laughs> what should I call it then? Because it's the only thing I can think of. False couple? A couple to see in the world? Oh yeah! Yeah, that's totally more like it. I was kinda going for, you know, a uh, pretty princess fairy tale couple, but yeah, I like those two. Uncle, no. He nodded into his own words, but I, I could not disagree more. Please, just tell me why. For the sake of my sanity. Is it that important that you want me to tell you? It's none of your business, it's my business. Why do I have to explain myself? Stop being an angsty main character and just tell me. It's very important that I know. Okay, Yamato's on his period, I called it. I just want the results. I guess I'll tell you. Yamato sat up in his seat. Because that's how you you got to be serious. You got to be serious when you square sat your in shoulders seat. out. And I sat up too, squaring my shoulders to brace myself for the truth. A few months ago, I was hired as a science teacher at a private high school. It's an all exclusive all girls school too. I'm so jealous. I want girls to be all over me. Oh yeah, I, uh, I envy you so much. 
strict because that's how they roll. As much as I would love to work at that all-girls school, they kind of are very, very, very strict on their uniforms, so unfortunately no. the skirts aren't very short. Teachers are generally female. Few male instructors they have must be married, so I gotta be married, so that's how that is. That's to hire single men because they think girls are gonna come after the single men because they're hot looking and Or maybe the single men will go after the younger girls? I have a fiance, but we haven't got married due to personal reasons because I lied during the interview. If they find out the truth, I'll be fired immediately. Of course you'd be fired. You'd only be singled out as a pervert. And to make things worse, the vice principal is starting to suspect me. Sniffing around. What is he, a dog? Yeah, you smell like lemons. Not you, uncle. I was talking about the teacher. Anyway. In order to get him off my trail, I need a fake wife. So can you be my wife? Oh boy. I'm sincerely asking for your help. Will you be my wife? Everyone else looked at me, um, pleadingly. Well, Seki is the only one that doesn't look pleadingly. He looks like he's just like, hey. Baby. You should be married to me instead. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. It's like how just like, he should be me. Oh, I would have married Taco Bell right off the bat. I thought for a moment and spoke up. And yes, I stood up too. I wanted to be more dramatic. No. What? Of course not. Pretend to be married. Who wouldn't want to be married to me? I mean, obviously, I'm good looking. What part don't you like? Tell me. All of it. Don't you think what you're asking for is a little uncle crazy? That's hey, really bad. I'm actually, you're right, never mind. I mean, you're impossible. So are you. How dare you say that after eating my pillow? Excuse me? Don't you know the saying? There's no such thing as a free meal. Don't even start. I don't need you to provide me a place to stay. And isn't this frozen? I was burnt. <laughs> of course it wasn't. I made it myself. How dare you say that? Oh, no wonder it tastes so good. I just thought that they were finally making good food with the frozen entrees. Well, I mean, if you put it that way, I can't get mad at you. You'll only need to pretend to be his wife for a few days. Wait, a few days? It may sound like it was for forever. He wanted to explain everything exactly. Yeah, he kind of forgets a lot because he's just <laughs> to the point, so he just skips a lot of details. You won't need to pretend for years, so no worries. Long, long term marriage, you can still go after me. You just have to get the vice principal to stop investigating. If it's only a few days, it might be fun. Experience being married. You're still yeah, thinking, thinking about, about it, man? Oh, hurry up. I can't wait that long. You You're getting the process. If there's you something that's bothering you, let me know now. I can't make a fucking joke. <laughs> Everyone looked at each other and Uncle finally spoke. About time, you guys have been interrupting me. Seriously, I don't want to say this to my adorable, beautiful, gorgeous niece. But... Uncle? There's you want to With Uncle Lemon. <laughs> I'm coming to stroke on. Uh, okay, okay, limits down. All right, don't you want me to help you get a job? He smiled as he said those horribly dreadful words. I mean, there's always the strip club, but you know, competition for a good job is tough these days, especially for young, beautiful women. Unless they go to a strip club. <sighs> but you know, I'm sure you know that by now, Tolulu. Mm, don't I know that? So just suck it up and just do it, okay? It's not that big a deal. You could be working at a strip club and stripping for men and getting... Uh, I'm no, gonna, you know, I'm no. not getting... Jobs, yeah, jobs. You could go back to having your dream job after this. And you'll be able to make a very comfortable living. Really comfy. Please stop. Please stop, Uncle. Alright, I accept. Wait, seriously? Not you, Uncle. She finally agreed. Amazing. Let's give her a hand. Sweet mother of pearl. <laughs> All right, I get a fake wife. Now I get to have my own story. And then, and then, uh, all right, I get a woman. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Finally, after all these years of trying. Let's go before you change your mind, because I don't want you to change your mind. He picked up my luggage and stood up right away. Wait, go where? My place. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Of course, like any an other anime show. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do at your place? Exactly. I like to know the details. We're living together, duh. Uh, I can't do that. But how are we gonna look like we're married? Is, that, doesn't that what married couples do? They live together? No, they live on the other side of the planet. Are you going to wear a sign that says Yamato's wife? Sure. I'll wear it right on my back. No, I'm with stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, uh, I, I was distracted by lemons. 
I'm mean, seriously, Tyla, just, just thinking about your job, okay? Only a little while. And he was actually serious this time. He said my name right. It seemed like the devil was smiling at me. Exactly, like I said, that's my name right. <laughs> exactly. If you don't do a good job, I'm not gonna help you. You're gonna live out on the streets, no feeding and mooching off of me. You are out of here, Missy. Get your own college degree. Are you, uh, are you trying to intimidate me? That's human trafficking. It's human trafficking if I sell you for sex on You're, Craigslist. I, I, I can't believe you. Don't pout like that. It doesn't make you look good. Screw you too. Come on, let's go, pouty. <laughs> I guess we'll walk home then. You better remember the directions to the bar. I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna have to you come pick me up if I get drunk. Um, hello? I don't want to hear that kind of talk from you. What is it, Pouty? I have a ton of things I have to ask you. Otherwise, okay. I'm going to go and see. Okay, what is it? I don't want to answer all of you, so pick three. Three? You're so lazy. Fine, three questions. We can talk while we walk. Cause that rhymes. I naturally walked beside him as he started heading out. My luggage must have been heavy, because he readjusted his grip a few times along the way. Do you want me to take my bags back? No, you're fine. But it looks like you're struggling with them a bit. Shut up. Like, I can hold what I want. I'm, I'm strong. I am a strong person! Why are you judging me? <laughs> Toilet <Toilet's> smash! <laughs> <laughs> so, you know which questions do you want to ask me? Like, what's the first one? Tell me your first question. Um, why are you calling me Pouty? You only have three questions and that's what you want to ask? Cause Just why you answer ask the me? stupid question. Why are you want to ask me all these stupid questions? But ask me something important. Like, that's important to me. Why is it important to you? It's just a name, God! Oh my God, man, just answer the stupid question. Wouldn't you want to know, like, about my place or what kind of life you'll be living? Aren't you worried about those things? Not about your name, God. What? Why do you want to know about the name? Like, really? Come Maybe on, those God. were going to be for my other two questions, but I just couldn't let it go because it's the stupidest name I've ever heard. You pout so easily. That's why I call you Pouty. Isn't it a cute nickname for you? No, that was mean. See, you're making that face again. I like that face. That face is cute. What about you? I don't need one. Nicknames aren't my style. I'm not much of a nickname person. So you. you can call me anything you'd be comfortable with, I guess. So can I call you asshole? Yeah, me or darling. I should just call darling for the hell of it. Okay. Oh yeah, that too. I didn't read that. I called it yummy. <laughs> <laughs> yummy. <laughs> How, really yummy. how about darling? What Japanese couples call each other that? Yeah. This one. Then how about simply Yamato? I guess that'll do. Because you won't let me call you asshole. <laughs> so you make sure to call me Yamato in front of others. I'll try not to call you tomato. First question That's down. Right, I mean, what's your second question? Better be a good one this time, because otherwise I'm gonna be crying. And you're not gonna <laughs> know exactly what you're up to. It's really tempting though to see you cry. We started walking again. It was getting late, but several cars passed by us on the road. And why the hell am I paying attention to that? You look like you wouldn't have any trouble getting women. I'm sure there are uh, plenty who would happily agree to be your fake wife. Well, I won't deny I'm popular with women because, you know, I'm oh good looking and stuff. Well, isn't that sweet? What? Come on. If you have something to say, say it. You're not going to say we look like a good couple? Well, that's kind oh, of weird. Oh, yeah. That too, I guess. I was just joking. Kind of. Not really, but I didn't expect an answer like that, and my heart skipped a beat. Not really. I'm sure I'll marry a woman like you one day. Thanks. After dating plenty of beautiful women, I mean, okay, I'll realize people learn all about looks, you know? And I'll lean towards a safe and relaxing woman like you. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna walk down the other way, because that was a little rude. Mm. Sure, you've dated a lot of women. I don't know. I've never counted. I never really cared for numbers. Okay. What about you? Excuse me? It doesn't really matter, but how many guys have you dated, anyways? Like, actual so I dating. Can't count girls? Let's see. I have six girls. I mean, guys. <laughs> a girl with no romance skills gets to pretend to be married to uh, me. So, I guess you're lucky. You ought to be thankful. You have a problem with that? Because I'm true to my word here. I'm true to my no. word. Surprisingly, no. It's refreshingly honest. So, what's your final question? It better be good. I mean, you get three questions. So, it's like, you know, genies and stuff. I was just about to say, like where that. are you, my genie? There's something I've been wondering about from the start. How good are you? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, go back. Go back to your car. He, like, see the window over there? He's just pressed against the window. Like, <laughs> look, staring at them. <laughs>
I decided to ask him what I really wanted to ask. School doesn't employ single men, right? Who lied to get hired. That's right. That's why I need to pretend you to be- I want, I want you to pretend- I want you to be being your life for pretending, you know? That school of all schools. There are plenty of high schools out there, and the one that you've chosen is a all-girls school where they won't hire single men. Why did you choose that school? <sighs> this is it. This is my break. Uh-oh. He stopped talking. To me, anyway. I wonder if I said something wrong. Of course I probably said something wrong. You want to slowly turn to look at me. <sighs> Pouty. Yeah? He reached around my back. He wrapped his arm around me and pulled me towards him. Oh, wait, wait. We're moving too fast here. <laughs> too fast. We're not at square one yet. Let go of me. Just stay still. Don't move. If you make a move, they'll notice. Wait, what? Who will notice? I thought he was joking around. But he had a serious look on his face. Holding onto my shoulder, he leaned his head against the top of mine. Howdy. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? It's not like he's doing sex or something. Oh, it's a picture, isn't it? To be continued! Ah, okay. Well, that was interesting. Anyway. Uncle, close your Twitter. <laughs> What? How would you? I mean, I can't help but that Nick is really big, okay? Oh, hi, Nick. Big people. <laughs> Ironically, <laughs> it's too ironic. We gotta keep that. That's one. Are we, are we still recording? Yeah. Because the share screen would. Do... Hi, Nick. I <laughs> keep shutting up. Dad, and it will be. God damn it, Nick. I'm sorry that he loves me, okay? <laughs> I roast him too much, obviously. <laughs> oh, who's this bastard now? Where's Nick? <laughs> Uncle, get back to what your point was. You can go back to having your dream job after this. And think of it as like, damn it. I know you love me, but jeez.